Welcome back to the 2021 Outrigger Big West Men's Volleyball Championship presented by the Hawaiian Islands. This is the Hawaii press conference and we have with us Hawaii head coach Charlie Wade along with student athlete, senior middle blocker Patrick Gassman. Coach, we'll have you uh, start with an opening statement and then we'll open it up to questions. Yeah, we, you know, we, we never really got in a rhythm, and in that third set, no, the second set, excuse me, we made like 15 errors and kind of gifted them a set. And then, um, you know, they made the switch at setter and started playing better, and um, they played great the rest of the way, and we played okay, you know, and they came out on top. All right, if you have a question for either Coach or Patrick, uh, please use the hand raise function. And we'll wait a second to get the first question. And we will go first to Alan Hoshida. Hey, Coach, uh, what was it about the the San Diego defense that was, or the the wall that was giving Rado and your hitters a little bit of fits there, and weren't putting away as regularly as you you guys are accustomed to? Yeah, Rado just you know he's he's been so spectacular. I think we've we've come to expect the superhuman from him, and you know they they definitely played good defense and touched a lot of balls, but. Ratto had a very un like night, and, uh, you know, San Diego deserves credit for chasing down a lot of balls. Patrick, early on, you, you, you brought the fuel, it seemed, from the very first get-go. How much did you pride yourself on setting the tone and setting the attitude of the game from the get-go and trying to bring the guys along? Because even in the fifth and in the fourth, you, you were always having that passion tonight. Um... I don't know. I just feel like uh, I had like a really good pregame, and I was just excited to play today. And uh, I knew that from the warm-up that I was on today, and I uh, I tried to take care of business as much as I could on my end. Let's go next to Jason Kenishiro. Coach, uh, how much um, did um, San Diego's um, pressure from the service line kind of take you guys out of rhythm? Well, they had a couple guys had some good turns for sure, you know, and that something usually we're good at. And, um, you know, we just a little off tonight, like I said there. But uh, 21 for sure. McCauley, he can bring it. You know, I saw him last night touch 75, and he had uh, a really good turn a couple times in the first set. And, um, you know, but overall, they, you know, they that I think most teams right now in order to, to compete against us got to just go for broke from the service line and uh, – you know, they had some guys put in some good turns and uh, created point scoring for them. And kind of what's the outlook now going into Sunday? Now you have to wait tomorrow and then see what happens on Sunday. Yes. <laughs> so I kind of, what's, what are your thoughts on um, your positioning, I guess, or going into that? We're going to, the, the other leagues will all finish up and we'll be watching the selection show on Sunday and uh, see what our fate is. Let's go next to Cindy Lewis. Oh, actually, that was my uh, question that Jason just asked. Just, uh, Coach, what do you think your chances are for the at-large? Good. All right, let's go next to Dave Reardon. Dave okay, Reardon's here. I, I guess here. we could call it the elephant that's not in the room. If you've got 10,000 people in here and they're cheering for you, we have a different outcome. Yes. Yep. We have any other questions? Uh, let's go back to Alan Hoshida. What What do you guys do to just kind of stay in the moment, stay present while you're waiting, and and not let your mind wander and let all the scenarios kind of that can compound you. So what do you do as a group? Do you just kind of separate yourselves and just go as, as a unit and stay together and wait this thing out? Or, or is there another process? No, we'll, we'll stay together tonight and um, we'll kind of debrief tomorrow. One of the things that I've learned is try not to, to you know, overanalyze what happened tonight to give it some space. Let's give it, let, let it kind of marinate a little bit and, you know, and let us kind of watch some film and just kind of get, gain some perspective because I think everybody's emotional after uh, a, a night like this. So we'll gather tomorrow and um, 
and kind of debrief a little bit and then uh, put the plans together for uh, getting together on a Sunday and see what our future holds. Any other Pat, questions? you want to add anything to that kind of to uh, keep like, leadership core? I think as like a team, like we're gonna like go off to the hotel tonight as a team, and like we'll be thinking what we want to think tonight. But uh, tomorrow when we wake up and we go down to breakfast, we're still a team. We're still uh, we still have a good chance of getting an at-large bid. And uh, I think uh, when we walk through that door, um, that fictitious door, that when we walk when we come together, uh, it's just like we're still we're still in business. It's still all about the volleyball and the team. Okay, let's go next to Christian Shimabuku. Um, Patrick, no matter how the rest of the season unfolds, um, this was your last game at the stand. Um, for you and the seniors, was that kind of a tough pill to swallow? Yep, it's been rattling around my head the last 20 minutes now. Any other questions for Hawaii? Okay, it sounds like we are good. Thank you, uh, Hawaii, and uh, good luck for Sunday for the at-large. Thank you, Aloha. Thanks, guys.